Okay, this is a shoe box, uh, low pressure sodium. You can see the lamp inside is long and LPS or low pressure sodium, the L is for low, but also to remember it, you can uh, remember the L means long. So if the lamp is long like this one, it's low pressure sodium. At night, this one's gonna run very orange yellow color. It's, it's the very dark, uh, dark uh, orange yellow color. These are 50 watt metal halide. Okay, so these are 50 watt metal halide shoebox fixtures. We could change these to a compact fluorescent uh, fixture and that would be uh, about half of the wattage. So we'd go to something like a 25 watt CFL. And we might also be able to do a retrofit where we leave the fixture because it's a nice fixture and just change the guts on the inside as possible. So these are shoebox fixtures, high pressure sodium. Uh, the one on the left is being used as a flood because it has a knuckle mount, uh, knuckle mount on it. So it's really a flood on the left and a shoebox um, on the right. Probably, uh, you know, something like a high pressure sodium, 250 watt, would be a typical. Okay, these are induction uh, shoeboxes, also on knuckle mounts. And they are a higher wattage, uh, probably an 80 or 100 watt uh, larger donut fixture. Yeah, so this would be a flood, uh, a shoebox used in a flood format with a knuckle mount for adjusting it. And you can see the little donut in there, that's an induction. Okay, this is a 40 watt induction uh, floodlight. And you can see the induction bands going around the edges of the donut uh, there. Wall pack, high pressure sodium. The size it's about a foot in uh, in uh, foot across, and it, I would guess it's probably in the 150 uh, watt range. We'd replace this with a um, with an induction, uh, probably 40 watt or 80 watt, depending on how much light they need. So these are 250 watt metal halide, and they're floodlights. So floodlight is the configuration and 250 watt metal halide. We could change these to a, an induction of, um, you know, potentially 100 watts, depending on how much light output that they need. We could even go, uh, we could even go uh, lower wattage, 80 watt. Uh, this is in a, a place where it's shining up onto a building. Um, you do have some access issues with these ones. You can see they're very high up and uh, changing them might uh, might have some issues. This particular building has uh, some problems with weight because there's a parking structure underneath us. And so we have, there's some weight considerations on, on how heavy the lift can be that's gonna get up, up there. The fixture itself, sometimes they call these acorns if it has an acorn fixture at the top. This is not exactly an acorn, it's more of a bulb, um, you know, round, round lamp at the top. Um, and the technology inside, we don't know, but it's probably um, also metal halide or a, a high pressure sodium, maybe 50 watts.